In this video, I will give you an honest review of the next left niche finder and tell you if it's worth the money or not, in my opinion. So NextLev is an AI YouTube tool specifically for YouTube automation channels that will help you do a lot of things, but mainly it has an AI niche finder that helps you find winning niches and basically winning channels with a bunch of filters you can copy. Now I actually did a one-time payment to test it out and I do really like the software. So in terms of pricing, they have different products. They have the YouTube faceless course and the niche finder. And both of them, apart from each other, are 510 euros as a one-time payment. And then as a bundle, it's 900 euros usually, but you can save 90 euros with the coupon code they have here. But I actually do have another coupon code that you can use to get 20% off, which is Software Scope. So it's just the name of my channel. So if you use the code right here, so this exact code, you will get 20% off on any package, whether you get both the course and the niche finder like me, or you only get one of them. Now to give you my honest review and kind of show you the niche finder, first of all, I think it is very good for if you are getting started or even if you are a bit more experienced. And right here, you can go to the AI niche finder section. And again, they do have a lot more such as an RPM predictor. You can search popular keywords and more. But here in the AI niche finder, you have a few filters here, such as subscribers, average views per video, days since starting the channel, which I think is one of the best filters. They have number of uploads and whether it's monetized or not. Now, if I just filter by the days since start and I do the newest channels first, then here you can see a bunch of very new channels such as this one, and you can see the average views per video. So here you can find some really good channels. For example, this is a perfect example. They only have two uploads and average 709,000 views per video. Now, this is a very popular format and you may have seen it before, but here you can now actually see that it still works. So this is a format why it sucks to be born as a and then an animal. And then the video just kind of goes through the life of that animal. So this is a perfect example of a niche that is working right now. But this way you can really find quite a few and I'll just show you another one such as this one right here. So this one only has seven uploads and it started one month ago and in total it has gotten, as you can see here, 780,000 views. So I'll just show you one more example, which is Productive Peter, which started 48 days ago and has six uploads. And you can see this is also a very popular format that is still working very well. So first video one month ago, and you can see it gets quite a lot of views. Some videos get even this one, 842,000 views and then 400,000, 200,000. So this is another format that you can then go ahead and implement on your channel or maybe start a new channel. Now you can also do many filters at once. So you can go to advanced filters right here. And for example, I can go by the uploads per week, the RPM of a channel, which category it is in. For example, if I want to find a crypto channel, then I can select crypto. Then the first video upload date, let's say I want a pretty new channel. So I'll just say 1st of May. And then let's say their average views, at least 50,000 is good. So then you can click go. And then if there are any channels that have those filters, you will find them here. Now there aren't that many faceless crypto channels, but you can also just set it to only one category. For example, American football and then click on go and then do one of these other ones such as days since start. So if I do this, you can see this one started 93 days ago and has 15,000 subscribers. And I usually just look at the average amount of views per video, since I think that's the most important thing. So this one, for example, this one started 1219 days ago. So this is an older channel, but it is doing very well. So you can kind of see what kind of formats they have. For example, NFL records, you can see which thumbnails they are using. You can filter by popular. And this is just a really good way to get inspiration for a niche that you can then also start with. Now, another thing that I like about NextLev is the curated channels here. So if you click curated channels, 
it will take you to this Notion document. And here you can see a bunch of niches that get updated quite often, such as aviation documentaries, hip hop documentaries, and quite a few more. Now, if I click this one, for example, you can see there's an entire breakdown of this entire niche. So you can see what kind of thumbnails are working. And you can really find everything you need to know about a niche. You can see even a list of example channels. They have a huge list of 50 right here that you can then look at. So another one, for example, urban design documentary. And then you can also see a list of competitors here. And you can just go to their channels, see what they're up to right now. So this one's last video is only seven days ago. And I really think that this is the best way to find new niches for your channel. Now, I also got the course, but I haven't taken the course yet, so I cannot comment on that. But I do expect it to be good, since you may know the owner of Next Lab is Noah Morris, and he's very successful in this space. And I will also be taking that course. So again, to give you my honest review of the Next Lab AI Niche Finder and whether it's worth it or not, I would say it is worth it for if you have some money to invest. But if you really don't have any money to invest, or you only have, for example, 500 euros to start a faceless channel, then you're probably better off just finding a niche on your own, although it can take more time and you can miss out on some pretty good opportunities, but then you are better off just paying your team with that money than investing it in a software. But I do like the pricing structure where you just pay once and you can use it forever. And if you do have some money to invest upfront, or maybe already have had some success with YouTube, then I think next level is very good. Now, finally, I'll just show you the RPM predictor. For example, if I enter the keyword next level, which is what this video is about and click get RPM, you can see it finds the category and then also the RPM for that. So you can see keyword next left category tag, and then they have the RPM. So they think it will be $9 on this video. Now you can also save channels and you can always find them from here and you can save keywords as well. So I think next Lab is worth it if you have money to invest. And again, if you want to get 20% off, you can go and use my code, which again is this right here. So software scope. So you can enter this code at checkout in Stripe and then you will get 20% off on however much you are spending. If this review and tutorial of NextLev's niche finder and other features was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.